you ready to roll? Here we go. This one is on tethering. We, I'm using Tether Tools, Tether Cable. I use their products. I like the nice orange, high visibility, so nobody knocks them over. And I tether for a couple of reasons. One is speed. I don't have to put the pictures into the computer and, uh, and put them in a reader or anything like that. They go directly into my computer. I can glance over it, look at it, see which direction I'm going. I know exactly what's going on. I don't need any chimping. I'm not looking at the back of the screen. Everything looks good this small. You need to look at the, I like to look at them eight by 10. But number one reason to tether is for coaching. To coach that person over there in front of your camera how to get better. You show them and, they're, and then coach them through it. You, not only will you find out things about them that they like or don't like, you'll also learn about their face through tethering. So I always shoot a look and then I come back, sit down with them, and I look at things on their face. I turn them all different directions, I make them do all sorts of things. So I'm learning as I'm going, and, and I'm not necessarily verbalizing that to them, but I am verbalizing things to try and figure out what they see that they like and don't like. Okay, so take a look at this. We'll shoot a subject and see how this goes. Okay. All right, hang right there. You're pretty good. Settle in. No, nope, settle. You're not settling. Settle in right there. Hold it steady. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold it right there. That's it. That's it. We're just going to take a bunch of shots. Turn a little bit this way for me. Great, fantastic. Nose a little bit this way and get your chin down. That's it, that's it. Try the other side just so I can see because I'm gonna, I'm gonna vary this one. We're gonna look at it next. No, that's not, yeah. Um, no, don't go that way. Now just start to bring it home. We'll bring it in and we're gonna get you out of there and we're gonna look at some of these shots just so we have a general idea. Let's go a little bit this way. See all the movement with the hands? Let's pro throw a little, bit of the, a, a little bit of this action. Now you can't tell when I'm shooting you if I'm shooting you with this or this, right? I might get you quick. I might want to move you around. Bring that chin out, that's it. Tilt the head a little bit this way, that's it. Start to work the camera a little bit to this angle. Nice, now that's all coaching, simple coaching. We're gonna get into more coaching later, but simple coaching, you did great. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna come over and look at them and see how you really did, okay? Good, one more, perfect. Okay guys, so we just did one look with the, the, my subject for, for today. And you wanna kinda pump them up. Now he's here, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna pump you up, okay? Just, I mean, I wanna pump you. I mean, I'm not gonna, it, like you don't tell them that normally, but since he's here and we're here for this video, I'm gonna tell them we're gonna, we wanna get energy involved in the shoot, so we wanna tell them what a good job they're doing. Now, if you were doing horribly, which you weren't, it was very good, I, I would, not say that. I would try and figure out a way to get them going. If the pictures were not good and I knew that person was gonna, wasn't gonna like them, I'm not showing them either. You don't show tethered shots of bad pictures. If you're taking bad pictures, somehow avoid it. Have them go change, do something, delete all the bad ones, um, work on, if it's, your if it's your technique that's bad, then you got a problem. If it's them that's bad, then you have to use it as a coaching. So take the best ones and show them only those. Fortunately, our subject for today did really well, and I think it's gonna be just fine. So let's talk about how you did, and how'd you feel, how you felt in there, and, and but let's look through the picture so you get a better sense, because I'm gonna get a better sense of which angles to shoot you on, and you're gonna get a better sense of uh, how to perform in front of the camera, so I think it's very beneficial. So let's see. Now this one, you look like you're in pain, so I don't think that that's gonna work for a headshot. So let's, let's just keep going, let's see. There you go, now look at what you did. In one shot, you went from zero to hero. Very good. You got the squinch, you got a tiny little approachable mouth. We now know you're good straight on. Let's see, no, you look a little startled. I don't think that that's gonna be beneficial for you. We don't need that. I don't know if I like that side as much on you. Let's see. Um, straight on's very good. We like straight on. We're okay on that angle. This is a little startled. I'm not sure about this. Uh, now you're getting a little out of control. You, you definitely look a little bit meaner there. I'm not sure. That's okay. It's all right. I don't know about that side. I like the other side better. This is interesting. This is a nice uh, concept. I like the direction you're going with this. Maybe you could a little bit further in that direction. There you go. Yes, now you're getting the movement that I need. That's definitely, a, this is definitely over the top. Um, 
much better. You're coming back. Let's try your other side. Let's see if you can go. Oh, oh, we're doing jawline. That's insane. That's <laughs> on a train. That's crazy. Um, well, your smile definitely rocks. Very good smile. This is a positive. This is definitely a positive. Definitely a positive. Okay, so guys, I'm being a little silly that I did the whole thing shooting myself for your entertainment, but seriously, tethering, huge. So what we're gonna do is, as I have a client in here, I will do another week where we're actually filming the tethering so you can see the conversation going on between the two of us and see the reaction. Some people react very positively, some people react very negatively, and that's when I go into my 90% therapist, 10% photographer mode, but it's essential. It's, it's huge to get my, people will get out, look at the screen, and humans have the capacity to learn. So they'll look at it, they'll go, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Get back in there and they'll perform better for you. So if you can implement tethering into what you're already doing, I suggest you do it, but you have to be careful. If you're technically not good and the pictures don't look fantastic straight out of the camera, then do not tether because you're only gonna be showing them bad stuff and you won't know whether they're critiquing their face or the image or the technical aspect that it's dark or the lighting's bad. Uh, don't tether then in that case until you technically are sound, then you tether, okay? So let's do it, get some tethering going. Hopefully you're technically sound, fire it up, go. Guys, if you like this video, you're absolutely gonna love what I have going on over at the Headshot Crew. It's an absolute smorgasbord of material just like this that I've been working on for the last 10 years. So click the link below, check it out, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I got stuff coming out just for you.